Trump, Christy Noem, Ron DeSantis, cancel culture. Any lingering belief that Donald J. Trump would fade from the political scene like other past presidents evaporated fully on Sunday as he spoke for more than 90 minutes in a grievance-filled and self-promoting address that sought to polish up his presidential legacy, take aim at his enemies and tease his political future. Here are six takeaways from the first major Republican gathering of the post-Trump era, the 2021 Conservative Political Action Conference in Orlando, Florida. I'm not starting a new party, Mr. Trump declared, nixing rumors and making news in the first moments of the first speech of his post-presidency. And why would he? Mr. Trump remains the most influential Republican politician in the nation. The three-day CPAC gathering in Orlando showed how fully the Republican Party has been remade in his image in the five years since he boycotted the conference in 2016 en route to capturing the party's nomination. In a meandering speech guided by a teleprompter and interrupted with cheering that at times read more obligatory than enthusiastic, Mr. Trump lashed out at President Biden and outlined his vision of a culture and immigration-focused Republican Party while relitigating his specific grievances from 2020. Mr. Trump named every Republican who voted for his impeachment, get rid of them all, he said and he predicted a Republican would win the White House in 2024. Who, who, who will that be? I wonder. He mused. The speech came right after Mr. Trump won a CPAC 2024 presidential straw poll, finishing with 55% of the vote, more than double the percentage of his closest runner-up. But that victory was dampened by the fact that only 68% of the attendees at the conference said they wanted him to run again. A second straw poll without Mr. Trump was carried by Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, who received 43% on his home turf followed by Governor Christy Noem of South Dakota with 11%. Those results showcase the challenge that senators face in edging ahead of governors in the 2024 pack of potential presidential candidates. Both Mr. DeSantis and Ms. Noem highlighted their efforts to keep the economy open during the coronavirus pandemic, which proved a more popular resume point than the legislative fights that senators in Washington have been engaged in.